after that with the birthdays, but hot topics for us. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so there's a report coming out of Barbados. The National, hear me, the United Nations Special Envoy on HIV to the Caribbean. His name is Dr. Edward Green. He is warning of an increase in HIV AIDS infections in the Caribbean. He was speaking at a recent regional testing day, 10th anniversary Caribbean launch breakfast and awards. This is in Barbados. And he said, findings in the 2016 UN AIDS gap report that HIV infections are on the rise in the region. Um, he said that while the major increases have occurred in Cuba and Jamaica, the greatest area of alarm, is the fact that progress is now stopping new in progress in stopping new infections has stalled among adults and HIV infections are increasing among older groups in some countries. Mm. However, Dr. Winston Delahaye said the data that our health ministry has on the prevalence of the virus in the country contradict Green's declaration. Mm -hmm. He says, I am looking at the documentation and it doesn't fit what I've seen in the newspapers. Um, so he's reached out to Green to see clarity on the issue. Yeah. Mm. He's saying for the category of men aged 15 to 49 in 2000, prevalence was 2.8. By 2008, we got that down to 2.3. Following year, it was down to 2.2. And the latest data, which is from 2015, says it's down to 2.02. So um, I guess they will have discussions and... Yeah. So the disparity. I mean, there is the some figures. disparity, but it's a marginal disparity. Yes. yes. Um, the, the reality is, it's still too much. Um, too high. Since we're heading to zero, and um, you know, it's possible. I think because every time they focus on one particular group, Simone, then it leaves another group almost like out of the the loop. So. Um, you know, it, it was the, ad the, the adolescents, and then they said, okay, they're good. And they moved on to our next group. And then they said, okay, they they're good. And then you found that the young people, vulnerable. they moved on. And then these are older people. Yeah. And a lot of people, I think, when they talk about sexual reproductive health, tend to overlook older people. Yeah. So, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow, folks. She, she, she bought a century. Yeah. 100 years. Lady Cook. Um... Lady Ivy Cook, widow of Sir Howard Cook, has passed away. She passed away yesterday um, at the age of 100. What a beautiful picture. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what good Lady Cook. Um, the announcement was, was made yesterday afternoon. Sir Howard died in July 2014 at the age of 98. Their union produced three children, Justice Howard Cook Jr., Richard, and Audrey. Um, Lady Cook, they say, passed away at the Andrews Memorial Hospital in St. Andrew yesterday afternoon. Prime Minister has hailed her for her contribution to education in Jamaica. Um, they've come always a long way together, Yes. Lady Cook, always gracious. Always gracious. Um, wonderful couple. Mm -hmm. And um, Portia Simpson Miller tweeted, she's now reunited with the love of her life, which is Sir Howard. So, rest well. They married in um, 1939. Yeah. 1939, yeah. July 22. Nice. So, rest in peace, madam. Nice. God go with you. Nice. Um, this, I don't even know, officer. A Florida employee, um, disgruntled, walked back into a factory that fired him and fatally shot five ex-colleagues before killing himself. He's John Robert Newman, you see him on screen, 45. He was armed with a semi-automatic handgun and hunting knife oh. when he entered the business near Orlando, Florida. He's a US Army veteran. He was sacked in April. Hmm. He's Army vet, this is set a ton of different issues in one. One, he's armed, but yeah. I guess he was a vet, so he could have got. But in foreign, he can just go into. Anyway, and say, hi, can I have one pack of pumpers and a gun, please? Because yeah. that's just how it in works. In the same place. In the same. In the same. You can cash out a gun with, with your pumpers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, so it's frightening. Yeah, and they're saying that he clearly singled out the people that he hurt because mm -hmm. he, he came and he told an employee whom he didn't know to leave the premises. 
um, he left about seven other staff members uninjured. So, you know, these are public people. I don't know. The victims include a 69 year old, 44, 53, 57. Wow. He did, not have a, he did not have a permit for the weapon. Okay. He was okay. honorably discharged from the army in 1999. Lived alone in the area, killed himself as deputy. Probably a PTSD too. It could all be. these veterans have a whole heap of whole heap of issues. Could be. It's, you know, you see them do stuff like this, you have to wonder. Yeah. Um, that's why they, they talk so much about veterans getting help, getting counselling, because when they come back from war, you know. It's a lot. She's a lot. They talk about people you kill. And, 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 and you just sleep. get yes, and you terrible. To be in that scenario and then come back home, it's not easy at all. So, I mean, you know. Our condolences to the families. Terrible. I don't know. Orlando um, again. Yeah. So Orlando finally, again. the acting US ambassador to China has quit. Um, David you, Rank resigned from his post in Beijing. They're saying it's over President Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. Mr. Rank made a personal decision. We appreciate his years of dedicated service to the State Department, said a senior State Department official to CNN. Um, but sources familiar with the decision indicated that his departure is directly tied to Trump's controversial move to pull out of the accord. Wow. Well done, Mr. Perez. Um, yeah. I don't have nothing more to say about Donald Trump, guys. I just can't. I can't. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys would have probably discussed it already, so I'm not going to go over it. But, but Kadeen did raise something, our producer, very important this morning, that while we talk about the top-down, which should be all these um, international climate agreements, right here, Senator Jamaica, um, when someone now calls Trump, when it's still a burn rubbish Correct. in other community. Last night, I went to look for a friend of mine. I never said to her, I said, oh, no, no, take out some water and go out the fire like, before it burned down the whole, the whole housing scheme. It was huge. Someone just light it, gamble them business. So the lighting, the the, the the way we dispose of garbage, including the specifically the plastic, styrofoam, the styrofoam. When rain fall and the place flood, we said government and I don't know one councillor, one MP. We all your honour said throw that in the in the gully. So we need for the things to help our personal responsibility, people. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Oh, Darling, you see it at all. Oh, Stop cutting down some trees.